I'm here with Tom, one of the founders and CEO of the Black Cloister. Tom, talk to me just a little bit about how this got started. Uh, so um, I have a bit of background in beer, uh, but uh, also I uh, uh, am a pastor. And it was actually members of my congregation that encouraged me to start a brewery, believe it or not. So uh, they had all tried some of my beer I'd made at home, and they were like, Tom, you ought to get into the business. And, uh, you know, uh, four years later, here we are. Talk to me just a little bit about the name and where it came from. So the Black Cloister is the monastery that Martin Luther, the 16th century reforming monk, was trained in as a monk. After he was excommunicated, he married a former nun named Katie. And the prince of that area, Prince Frederick, gave him the Black Cloister as a wedding gift. They moved into it, and Katie was a beer brewer. She brewed not only for the Luther household, but for much of the city of Wittenberg, Germany. And that's the whole tie-in to me being a Lutheran pastor and, uh, and the name and so forth. This has just been kind of amazing how it's grown so quickly in just a short amount of time. Yeah, it's been a, it's, it's been a crazy ride. So we opened in March of 2015 to a wonderful reception by Toledo. And uh, you know, since then, we did about 400 barrels of beer in our first year. We did 800 barrels of beer in our second year. And we're looking to do over 1,200 this year. What has been the best part about your job and being able to open a place like this here in downtown Toledo? So um, among other things, I'm a, I'm a certified Cicerone and part of that, that's like a, a, a certified beer expert. And part of that is, is, is uh, pairing beer and food. I love doing it. And so we've done a little bit of that for you here. And so the first thing that we have going on here is, is that our Hell's Angel, which is a Munich Hellas, we're pairing with sauerkraut balls and uh, Reuben bites. Uh, after that, the pickle spears here, we're pairing with uh, Rose of Shannon, our Irish red. Uh, then our Irish dry stout, we're pairing with the portobello mushrooms. And then finally, this is a, you know, a little bit of a tribute to one of, my, uh, one of my members who insists that Chain Dog is the best pizza beer he's ever had. So we've got Chain Dog paired with our pizza here today. That, all right, to me, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Uh, when I first started here, I was not the head brewer, I was the assistant brewer, and Bob over here was the head brewer. And we managed to get three beers out, and in two days we were down to one. And um, we had more come out before the one went away, but for, uh, for a minute there, people would come in, they're like, oh, I want to try. I'm like, oh, wait, you want to try? <laughs> the way I create recipes is I actually will think of how I want it to taste, and then I proceed from there. Welcome to my office. This is an awesome office. On this side is our, what we would call the hot side of brewing. Mash tun, boil kettle, and our hot liquor tank. Okay. This is a heat exchanger, and it'll basically take 200 degree wort and put it in the fermenter at 65 degrees. Okay. So we have one fermenting beer back here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we've kind of expanded. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, when we do, when we use these guys, we have to brew two days in a row to fill one. Okay. But you can see it's producing CO2. 